Hello everybody, welcome to Wow Body Now. I'm so happy that you're here with me. I'm a little bit congested and stuffed up here, but I feel great. I'm just draining out a little bit of a cold, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird or if I have to stop and wipe my nose because there's no excuses, right? We're going to get our workouts in. So last Saturday, last weekend, I did my very first official Yugi Ball training. Now, I've had this Yugi Ball for years, you guys know, and I've used it in my workouts before, but I loved that class. And it reminded me that I am not using this enough and I'm not showing you what a wonderful tool it really is. So today, it's all about the Yugi Ball. If you don't have one of these, no worries. You can grab your stability ball, you can grab a medicine ball, you can grab a playground ball or a soccer ball, or you can do everything we're doing without anything at all. Remember, because there's no excuses. But if you like it, you can go ahead and pick one up. I ordered mine online from yugi.com. I'm pretty sure they sell them on Amazon. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I don't get any money back from when, if you purchase because you heard from me. I'm just passing this on as a fellow fitness enthusiast who loves the ball, the Yugi ball. So with that, it's gonna be a 16 minute workout. We're gonna do each exercise for 50 seconds with 10 second rest. Now beginners pay attention to the 10 second rest because I'm going to cut away to show you beginners what you can be doing. And then everybody else, you just follow along with me and we are gonna get an amazing workout. So, you ready? All right, the first couple of exercises, the first few exercises are actually gonna warm us up. All right, in 10 seconds we're gonna go. All my beginners, you're checking out what you can do. All right, it's just a little jack, and you're just holding that ball right there at chest level. I think Monkey's asking to come back in. Can you let him back in? Thank you, Mia. You're welcome. There you go. And again, this is just helping to warm us up. We're getting right into it. Your knees are staying soft. You're landing as softly and as gently as you can. Every time you hop in and out, your abdominals are squeezing tight to support your spine. Shoulders are down and back away from your ears. Whew. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Come on, eight more seconds. All right, put the oogie ball down. Get ready. You're gonna stay low. You're gonna to go to the side and your hip is gonna to touch that ball there. Nice. So that front knee is staying in line with your ankle, so step wide enough for that to happen. There you go, the side of your hip is actually landing on the ball there. Fabulous, keep it up. If you don't have any type of ball, you're just going to alternate lunging side to side, right? Almost there. Give me five more seconds. We are setting up for the diagonal lunge. Feet out nice and wide, super wide stance. Stay low. You're gonna keep holding onto that ball or contacting that ball, lunge side to side. As I shift my weight, you see my knees are not going past my toes. Right? Make sure you have proper alignment. So, again, my abs are engaged, I want yours engaged. I want you thinking of squeezing your belly button into your spine. I want your back nice and flat, chest open, shoulders down and back. You got it. Can you get lower? Hey, if you want to get lower and touch the bottom of the ball, you're more than welcome to. Just shifting that weight. 10 more seconds. Nice. Okay, we're gonna get ready for a plank triple jump. 
but just enjoy your rest time. Okay, hands right there on the ball. Start with your feet close. You're going to do three hops to go out to a plank. One, two, three. 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 Nice. There you go. Your shoulders are tracking right on top of your hips. If your hands are sliding because they're a little bit sweaty, put a towel on top of the ball. Readjust as you need to. You got it. As you bring those legs in and out, super tight abs, out in that plank, make it perfect. You got it. Oh, shake it out. All right, we're gonna take it down to the ground. My list, I can't see it. All right, stick your hips up into a hip bridge. Take that oogie overhead and then pull it down in front. Hi, monkey. <laughs> He's like, let me get on the ball. Monkey wants me to feed him breakfast. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> so, you are pushing those hips up, and then this is really a chest exercise. So feel an extra good squeeze in your chest as you pull it up and over towards the top of your thighs. And then, of course, it's a static contraction for your lower back, glute muscles, and your hamstrings. I'm sure you feel it back there, too. You got it, you got it. Ah, monkey, watch out! <laughs> Silly dog. All right. <laughs> Don't get up yet. All right. We're going to get ready for a single leg V up. Extend your legs out. Bring the ball overhead. Crunch and reach it towards your ball. Crunch and reach the ball towards your foot, I guess I should say. I guess we're bringing them together. So at the bottom, I want you to find that connection with your lower back into the floor. Pressing your lower back into the floor at the bottom as you're extended. And then really squeeze those abs on the way up. Just take your time. Just do your best. Remember, mini breaks are okay. If you get to the point where you're so shaky, like you can't do one more rep, stop, sip some water, count to ten, and then get right back into it. Almost there. Almost there. Ah. All right. So now we're going to get on the ball, like our feet and shins on the ball. All right. So you have a couple options. You can just curl your knees in or a little bit more advanced. Ah. <laughs> You're going to do a hip hike. My ball isn't cooperating. There we go. <laughs> You're just hiking those hips up and rolling the ball along your shin. Oh my goodness, upper body getting it. And then those core muscles, especially the abs and that back is getting it. This is such a great total body exercise. I don't think my oogie is sliding along this carpet very well. Maybe I should have gotten a mat out. That's all right. We're gonna do what we can do. Okay. Whew. Wood chopper. Here we go. Over and pivot, down and twist. Over and pivot, down and twist. We're gonna do 25 seconds going this direction. 25 seconds going the other direction. Beautiful. Almost there. Get ready. Switch it over to this side. There you go. Twist. Rotate. Pivot. Twist. Pivot. Twist. Squat and bring that down past your knee over to your hip. You got it. If you have longer arms, it's going to be more challenging. If you have your arms more bent, a little bit easier. Okay, 
burpee time. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, hop out, in, and press. Hop out, in, and press. You're just pushing the ball up overhead. Why is it called burp? Or? It's called, I don't know why it's called burpees. That's a good question, Mia. <laughs> Maybe we should Google the er origin of the word burpee. It's not called like, it's not like you can burp. I know. Maybe the first person who ever did it was burping a lot while they did it. <laughs> <sighs> we got it. We got it. Hey. Really I strong. Hang in there. Almost there. Ball down in front of you. Let me in. I think it's because, um, I'm gonna get going. Keep talking, okay? I liked it. Here we go. I liked the Beatles, Toe tap. Beatles now, and you're just picking up those knees and tapping the ball, and let's go around in a circle. And um, once you've made a full circle, go around the other way. Another reason is because I think it makes them laugh, and the first thing that I Keep it up, quick feet. It has B and B, Burby, Beetle. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine, guessing. I just got that from the library. <sighs> yeah. Shoulders up, leave with that chest. I said shoulders up, but I meant chest open, shoulders back. Almost there. Don't stop. switch arms. Down and up. I want a tight, straight body line. Looking out on the floor in front of you a little bit. Get ready. We're going to switch sides here in a few seconds. Switch sides. Other arm on the ball. those hamstrings, hamstrings the back of your thigh. And you're engaging those inner thighs so that you don't lose that ball. Just take your time with this one. Oh my goodness. If you want added abs, pick your head and your shoulders up. And you're going to be squeezing those abs at the same time. Okay, we got it. Don't you dare stop. Just do the best you can. Even if you have to remove the ball or adjust the ball like I just did. Oh, almost there. Almost there. Yes, stay down there. We are going to do, what are we doing? A weighted sit-up. All right. Whew. So, feet long, sit up, all the way up, flat back. Round your back, one vertebrae to spine down. Keeping that ball like right over your eye line there. Hey, it's like when you get up here, there's a steady here, and then when you get down, somebody's brushing you. So listen, feet out longer is going to be easier. If you want to make it a challenge, you bring your feet in closer to your body. Oh my goodness, you're going to feel the difference. Come up nice, straight, strong, flat back, down one vertebrae at a time. Up and straight back. Now hollow out your stomach as you come down. Are you breathing? Please make sure you're breathing. Do not hold your breath. Breathe, people. All right. So, 
triceps extension is next. I'm going to do it from my knees so that I know you can see me. Pick up the ball and just a little extension. So you're dropping it right there behind your shoulders and then extending. My, my elbows are facing forward. My abs are tight. I'm trying to exaggerate perfect posture. Beautiful. Keep it up. We're almost there. I can't believe it. We are almost there. <laughs> We're going to clear out a little bit of space. We're going to do a little side yeah, shuffle next. Two more things to go. Two more exercises to go after this one. Wait, Hang in there. Oh. Oh my goodness, almost there. Okay. So we're going to do a little double shuffle. So make room. Stay low. Shuffle, shuffle, tap the ball down. Shuffle, shuffle, tap the ball down. Hey, if you only have a little bit, a tiny bit of room, even less room than what I'm working with, just do one shuffle. If you have more room, make it bigger. Maybe you're shuffling three or four times. Just keep your hips back. Stay low as you go. Engage those abdominals the whole time. Beautiful, you got it. exercise. It's going to be a squat and a toss. If you're not comfortable with tossing the ball, just press it. So, go deep. Drop your hips up and toss the ball up and catch. You're watching that ball the whole time. You have to keep your eye on the ball to catch it, right? Drop those hips low as you can. If you're dropping them really low, just remember that the hips are going to go nice underneath your shoulders. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm out of breath. Almost there. 20 more seconds. Hang in there. Try to catch it and go right into the deep squat. Yes. It's like it's pushing you down as you catch it. Let's walk around, cool down slowly. Don't just sit down or lay down. Get your water, walk around in your space. <sighs> 